Now... Allo seeks to learn about the mysterious woman. It appears Erin's sister Ursa was kidnapped instead of slain, but many questions... Yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, let's go there. Much easier. Oh, I shit myself then. I just thought we were going to go from a loading screen into another loading screen. I just shit myself. Wow. Alrighty. Yes. What are we doing now? Where are we going? Fucking Erden's over here. Yep. I've seen this four times. I probably should have fast traveled to the other fucking campfire. Would have probably been quicker to get to. King of Vod protect the people of Sunfall. We all know well, that's all right. Come on. Oh, imagine if we could like knock into these guys and they drop all their fucking food on the floor. It'd be funny as... It would be mean. Don't get me wrong, it'll be totally mean. But it would be funny. Did these guys just drop all their swords for me? Aww. You guys are so sweet. Well, look at you. Wonder if they laugh if you stare at them for too long. How cool is that? As you walk past, and they all just drop their sticks. They just like you know, slam their sword on the ground. So fucking nice detail. I like it. Ooh, got some goodies. A notebook we're never gonna read. Yes. Where are we going? What was that? I swear the person who spoke about the vanguard begging for their freedom sounded exactly like Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher. He had that really like deep voice. Like a no deep, one goes into voice. the palace without an invitation. An invitation? Ah, oh, seriously? Yeah, you know all fucking am. I'm fucking. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Ah. <sighs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> I swear to God, if um, this was The Witcher, Geralt would never... Oh, actually, no. No, that's a lie. In The Witcher 3, Geralt does try... Uh, does end up needing a pass to get into Novigrad. I think it's Novigrad. So, yeah. I was going to say, Geralt would never let them stop him from getting in, but no, that's a lie. He does get held up in The Witcher. Where were the fuck's Marad? Talk to Marad. I'm gonna jump in my ride. Oh, is he behind there? I oh, know him. This is my ride. Greetings, Aloy. Blameless my Blameless Marad. <laughs> Please come. Blameless. Back. You're needed for an important <laughs> consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you. The machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. How does one get a name like the Blameless Maraud? Like, Blameless? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here for two hours and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. So now we're going to meet for the first time the Sun King. We've heard so much What's about him. Like? The most We've important never actually thing seen is him. what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. So because we've been we spent the whole game building up the Sun King, I'm expecting a big majestic figure. Hey, Let's Lord hope. Lenora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. Seriously? I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. 
I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osirar. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osirar had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osirar. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Oh, what? Does this guy have the hearts for? Errant, Murad. Jesus. Let me discuss it with her privately. Oh, yep. I reckon this guy's gonna try and woo her. Do you want to be queen? I hate to impose Sun further queen. after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Well, maybe he likes Ursa. Without her Osiram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Mm hmm Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Well. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of them. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Uh. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. <laughs> but we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. If men live in palaces? Your politics seem very complicated. Did you note that? The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? 
I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. Hmm. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Okay. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. <laughs> a king never begs. Let's make him beg. Oh, what's this? A goodie. We like our goodies. Another book we're never going to read. Out of the file. Okay. I mean, I may, I may read them one day, actually, but probably not on stream. We'll do it offline. Okay. Um, where are we going? Pitchcliff. What the fuck is Pitchcliff? Oh jeez, let's let's do this quest. Um, I think we need to go here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Let's just go straight to the mission. Let's leave everything else. Stop exploring. Oh, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Come on, up yet. Chop, chop. I feel like running around this side of the mountain like this isn't gonna be the right way, but who knows? Maybe it is. Don't mind me, just grabbing some meadows. Medicine. Can't be too prepared. No, you can't be too prepared. Especially considering the fact that we've got no potions. We kind of need all the medicine we can get. I love when you come across like dead loot on the side of the road, like you don't even have to try and kill anything, they're just there. I know they're generally the shitter monsters, it's, they, the monsters that you generally find dead on the side of the road are the um, the bottom of the ecosystem monsters. Okay, what do we got here? That's a snap mark. Wait, what? Oh. That away. We're gonna try and avoid these guys because I really can't be asking to fight with snap balls. If I can avoid a fight with them, I'm going to. Well, well, son. Yeah, I really wish one day we can come back when we're level 50 and just fuck them up and whoa, a rock breaker, Jesus Christ, well that was a fucking, fuck, they just get fucking bigger don't they, that was fucking cool, that rock breaker just came rock busting out, breaking rocks, broke my face, just broke my face. 
At least he lives up to his name as being a rock breaker. There's nothing worse than when you come across a monster with a very cool name and then you fucking beat him up like he's nothing. And you just go, what a waste of a cool name. But no, no. He is cool. Now, it makes sense because this is fucking level 32. Look at this shit. This is way overpowered. I've got to... Yeah. We definitely need to get across without drawing his attention because he'll fuck us. Fuck us easy. I mean, yeah, okay, we could probably crawl across, fucking do the crouching like this, but it's going to take fucking ever to get around. I'll take my chances. I'll do the running. I think before he only got on onto me because the um, had monsters chasing me, so they kind of drew his attention. What's that ball? What's that? Is that water? No, that's not water. That's drilling. Look at that. He's a fucking beast. Tell you what, that rock break is pretty fucking cool and I can't wait to get to a stage where I can fight him. I reckon if I can get to level 32 and I can take him on, or at least, you know, get up and about where we can take him down, I reckon we could put on a pretty epic fucking fight. But in any case, for now, that's just a pipe dream. We are level 21. <laughs> Lol. We're not going to be uh, any match for that guy at this stage. So... Best way to level up is to keep doing missions though. Get some experience and... I've got the snap more over there too. Oh, there's a bunch of them. We've got a few, I think there's a few snap malls there. I know normal people would just stop and fight these guys, but I really don't want to fucking fight all these guys. I just... Okay, where are we going? We're here. Ooh, campfire, nice. This is cozy. This is nice and cozy. I like it. Alright. We say Jar Jar Binks. Alrighty. They always wonder what Jar Jar's up to in the Star Wars universe. If he was still alive. What would he be doing? What does a Grandpa Jar Jar look like? Always been curious to know that. Ooh. Yeah, how the fuck did you get up here with a monster roaming around out there? I mean, you probably live up here and that's it, you don't venture out. But still. Yeah, hello. Oh, jeez. Anyway, um, let's go get that campfire. Okay, so at least we've now hit up a couple of campfires, so we could use this to kind of quick fast travel. I should say fast travel. Oh, that's a very happy sight to see. Medicine pouch is full. To be honest, I'm probably not going to enjoy using the sharp shot to be uh, um, Unless someone can convince me otherwise. I I'm looking at that sharp shot by going, I don't think I'm going to get much value out of it. And I really don't even know why I bought it. But who knows? If you can convince me otherwise. Because I really prefer using the hard point arrows. Whereas here, you haven't got the hard points. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess... I guess if you're looking at the hard point arrows, see, they got an 83 in breaking the shield. Whereas, you know, that's got a 130. Yeah, but see, that's got a 136, but making that tear blast, you need to use four of those fucking capsules. Fuck. Yeah, I get that the precision arrow has a really high precision, though. Look at that, 57. But I don't know what precision does in the game. Does it mean that you're, you know, you're gonna, I mean, you don't, you don't do more damage to the armor, do you? Or like, is it, ah, oh, who knows, I don't know. I don't know what precision gets you, so. If anyone can explain to me what uh, a, what the precision does, I'd rather try my luck with those that do kind of miss, but at least score a fucking huge, huge hit on them. 
Well, I think that's my opinion anyway. Yeah, I'm coming up here to use the campfire. Where's the campfire? Oh, it's on the back there, maybe. Nope. Okay. Oh, maybe the campfire's up here around the back. There it is. There's the campfire. Alright, now I'll go cash in the quest. Ooh, goodies! Metal shards, chill water, nice. I always wondered when we'd need the chill water, because we kept collecting them and I always thought that was just a waste. And then we got that mission where she was like, can I have some chill water? And it's like, oh, well, we don't have to go find some, we've already got some. And then I was thankful for all the looting I ever do. No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. We better look. We better look for Mirage guy. Before we do that, I want to loot this. Cold as winter steel today. Oh, some more chill water, some more metal shards. Let's trade with the merchant and see what he's got for us.